Hi, this is Brian Hyde, and this is one of the most exciting updates I have been able to do um, throughout the few weeks that we have been providing these live feed video updates uh, for the Bundy Court case. Um, I'm very excited to tell you that we have confirmed that all of the defendants will be coming home. And, and by that, I don't mean that uh, the trial is over. Um, this is pre-trial release, but uh, an agreement's been worked out. Um, there are still some things that need to be approved, and there are, there are still a lot of things that can go awry. After all, you know, there are I's to be dotted, T's to be crossed, and so forth. But uh, all of the tier, for, tier three defendants, and, and I, you know, this means Mel and Dave Bundy will be coming home. I apologize, there are names of defendants that are not fresh in my mind at this time, but um, these are all individuals who've been sitting in, in, in prison for 660 days for many of them. Cliven definitely has been in jail for 660 days, which, which makes what I'm about to tell you even um, more remarkable. We've confirmed Cliven will not be accepting the offer of pretrial release. And I want you to understand why this is, because um, there may be a temptation on some people's part to think that, oh, is he just being stubborn? Is he just digging in? He has said from the very beginning that this was about standing up for his constitutional rights. And he is a man of principle, and he is continuing to stand for those rights. And what, uh, what Cliven has indicated, um, first, he, he does not recognize the jurisdiction of the court that, that currently is holding him and has held him for 660 days as being the appropriate place uh, for this thing to be worked out. He is... Uh, He's sticking to his guns, even though this is a very difficult thing to do. I mean, I've, I've seen as, as he and the other defendants have been brought into the courtroom. Now, Ryan Payne and Ryan Bundy have been wearing, you know, civilian clothes as, as they've been in the courtroom these last couple of weeks. Um, Cliven and Ammon were always coming in in their jail jumpsuits. And uh, jail is not a good place. I mean, it's, it's, they, they are brought in. Um, the only way I can describe it is... They, they are pieces of property, and that is exactly how they are treated. Um, when, when they are brought into the courtroom, you know, in custody, they're like a piece of property, shackled and just, you know, they, they have to do everything that someone tells them to do um, without any hesitation. When they are taken back to, to be placed in the, in the jail for the night, it's, it's done, you know, with, you know, lights and cars and helicopters overhead. So this, this isn't an easy position it's not an easy thing for, for Clive and Bundy to decide, but it's important enough to him. He has already shown himself willing to suffer for his beliefs. He is continuing to stand firm, and he understands perfectly clear that even if, if he were released to a halfway house, um, he still would not be a free man. So the principle is and remains that uh, this is about government operating correctly and not violating the rights of the people. And this is something that uh, I'm sure the families of, of these other Tier 3 defendants, particularly, are ecstatic. Maybe you've seen some of the videos of Ammon reuniting with his family. Um, powerful stuff. I mean, if, if that stuff doesn't move your heart or uh, bring a tear to your eye, you, you, must, you must have a heart of flint. Because um, these are good individuals. And they have been uh, accused and painted by the government for nearly two years now as dangerous and, and just so much of a threat that they couldn't possibly take the risk of letting them out. And, and I guess this is, the, this is the thing. These prisoners being released, it's exciting. And I'm not trying to downplay that, but, but it is monumental. It's huge in that it signifies a shift that has taken place in how the court is looking at what the prosecution's been telling him about this about these men. It's it's the court is changing how it's looking at this case, and that doesn't mean that they're out of the woods. Um, it just means that uh, truth has been coming to light that has cast a very different picture from what was originally portrayed by the indictment, by the grand jury, you know, that was given to the grand jury, and um, by um, the way that the the prosecution has, has portrayed these men. It's a major development, and we're watching it happen. Now, remember, the FBI had a counterterrorism team out there at Bunkerville. This was days before there was any standoff at the overpass. They've looked at these guys as very dangerous individuals for a long time, and now the court is saying, 
Not so dangerous that they couldn't have pretrial release. What a huge shift. It only took them 660 days to figure this out. So here's, here's the deal for next week. There's no court, but that doesn't mean that the lawyers aren't going to be busy and that they aren't going to be working. And uh, they're doing their part to, to move things forward and, and to, to see to all the little details that have to be done. Um, there's two things I'm going to ask of you. You know, I, I haven't. Uh, I've, I've asked you to to exert your prayers, and this is really this is the time to uh, to exert your prayers on behalf of all of these defendants. And the other thing I want to ask of you that I haven't asked before is, I need you to share this video. I need you to do it now, like as soon as I'm done talking. Please get the word out. We need help to get this word out far and wide. Mainstream media sources are still reporting on this, but they're still skeptical and there's still a tendency to want to slant things, you know, to where it's not favorable, you know, toward the Bundys. We can do a bypass around them, and that's what we've been doing, and I'm asking you to please help us. It's that big. Help us get the word out. Um, again, all of the defendants are going to be given pretrial release. The details are being worked out, but this is something that is going to be happening and that is cause to rejoice. Give thanks to God that such things are happening. Will Clive and Bundy be home for Christmas? We don't know. But now you understand why he has chosen to remain behind bars and why he is sticking to his principles. And I'm asking you, help us get the word out so that others may know what's going on in this case. As there's anything new to report, we will be happy to bring it to you. Thank you so much for following us. And again, keep these guys in your prayers.